Hey y'all, I'm back in the kitchen, whipping it up, whip, whip, whipping it up. So that, um, what it was it? Um, the chickpea tuna salad I made, that jump was so good. I'm like, let me try the chicken version. Let me try the chicken salad version, right? All right, so tonight I got some heart of palm. You can use jackfruit or heart of palm, but I'm gonna try this heart of palm and I'm gonna use everything else that I already use and we're gonna try the vegan chicken salad. So let's get into it. All right, so I opened up my heart of palms and I drank them. And I'm just gonna smash them up the same way I did my chickpeas. I'm gonna drink them and smash. This is what it's looking like. I've only had heart of palm cooked, so a part of me is feeling as though it's best that I put it on some heat and cook it before I start mixing everything in there and get disappointed. There's a high possibility that I might not get disappointed, but there's also a possibility of me getting disappointed, and I'd rather not be disappointed than disappointed. So I am putting my cut based butter inside the pan. And I am going to put some heat on this heart of palm on top of the seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and season the heart of palm while it is on the stove. Um, I did taste it. It, it is um, it's a little crunchy. Um, it is in like a, like a preservative type juice. So I can taste that juice. It's like a limey taste. So I'm thinking that once I cook it and season it, it's gonna give me what I'm looking for. So this is just one can, and I just pretty much strip the pieces. Actually, if you take the heart of palm and squeeze it, it starts to come apart by itself um, based on the type of texture that it is. So that's pretty much what I was doing. I did cut some of it up, but other parts I kind of just left it the way it was. So it all depends on how you decide to do it. So right now, I'm just sauteing it a little bit. And I'm going to add some seasoning. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the paprika. I got some Himalayan salt. Tony's original. And then the everything but salt, I'm gonna add it with the mayo, the onions, and the celery. Once I finish with the heart of palm. Okay, so this has been about two and a half minutes or so, and I'm getting ready to take this heart of palm, put it back in the dish that I got it out of. And now I'm gonna start adding my other ingredients. So, I have some diced red onions. I'm going to add. I have some celery. 
celery. Relish. I'm going to add mayo. And then everything but salt. And I'm going to mix it up. Okay, so fettuccine. It looks like fettuccine, but I'm about to taste it. So I got some crackers, and I ain't get no, no rose or nothing. actually pretty good it's good it's different like to be honest i haven't had chicken salad in a while so can't really compare but this is good um, um, wow i don't think i can really compare it to the chickpea or tuna salad that I made because it has a different taste but it's good like it's really like tuna and chicken it's different but they're both good that's how it tastes so thank you for cooking in the kitchen with your Mika cooking in the kitchen with your Mika deuces <laughs>